Hey guys, so I'm Carly. I know this is gonna be a different type of video than my normal ones. So this is gonna be a video about my story and just like some kind of advice and also a life update. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hey guys, so this is gonna be a video about my story. I'm gonna be opening up about something. So I don't know how well you guys know me or if you do at all. I'm really trying to like help and I'm just trying to tell you guys who I am and what I'm about. But I've always got this feeling in the back of my mind that you'll find someone else and then you'll leave me behind. So I am someone who has worked so hard and I'm not who I used to be. So for example, let me tell you guys, last year I used to be really not confident. I didn't feel good about myself and I have improved myself so much since that time. Like. I just feel so much better. I look healthier. I even like fix my hair, everything. I look more fit just everywhere. I've worked so hard on this. So I want to give you guys a little insight on what I've been through. So I have battled through depression and I'm still like dealing with it right now. So I'm working really hard to not let it get to me and not like ruin or rule my life. So a lot of times it's really hard for me and I wake up and I, I don't know what to do. So I'm working and trying to be happier and thinking of happy moments and getting stronger. So I am so much stronger than I used to be, much better. A lot of times I'm stuck thinking about like what other people are doing, what are they thinking about me? And I am working on not trying to think of that anymore. And I'm trying to like, just tell you guys, it's so hard to not think about that, but just try not to like, I know I have to always talk about improving yourself, but I have actually been trying to do that. and. It really does work. It's hard to motivate yourself, but you gotta just do it. Even when it's hard, even when you feel like you could give up, don't do it. Don't give up on yourself because you're the only one who's gonna be able to help yourself. No one else will care about you as much as you will. Remember that. And I know how hard it is. Right now, I'm having trouble with my motivation because I don't know if you guys know, but I fractured my foot and tore my ligament. So right now, I'm wearing a boot. And I'm going to show you guys and I have crutches. So yeah, that's why most I'm going to try to do more sitting videos because obviously I can't, I can't really stand on it for like a long period of time. I'm not really supposed to. So that's what these videos are going to be. It's harder than I make it look. I guess that's why they call them trust issues. So I don't know how well you guys know me or if you don't know me at all, actually. So I am someone who's been through a lot let's just say. So I've been learned to be really tough. So I've suffered through depression and like sadness and I have brought myself up. I'm so much stronger than I used to be. It's It's been really tough for me actually. Like a lot of days I wake up and I'm not happy and I'm trying really hard to like not be that way. So if you guys are suffering with any of these issues, I want to help you guys. So I've been through it and I'm still like not, I'm still like working on it. So I'm working on being stronger every day. So I have rebuilt myself. I work fitness, but actually I can't right now because I sprained my, I fractured my foot and I tore my ligament. So right now I can't do that, but I'm working on be building myself, just eating healthy. So for example, I eat a lot of like oatmeal and healthy foods. So that's helping me and keeping me fit and healthy. As well, I've battled through my ability to like feel good about myself. So. I am fit right now, but like when I'm not, I always think about, am I good enough? And it's really hard to tell yourself that you are, but you have to just do it. You have to be the one to do it. Don't look at like other people. Don't compare yourself. Compare yourself to you. So if you want to see if you're looking better, compare yourself in your progress. You could do that if you feel you can. And that really helped me because I look at my pictures from last year and I think, oh my God, look how much I have improved. I think about like physically, mentally, I look so much healthier. Of course. So I'm gonna show you guys, this is my broken foot. Yes, I fractured the foot and it's been really hard, but I'm working on trying to help myself. And it's been actually really hard now because I can't really do much because I'm like limited to, I can't really move that far, but I'm still trying to motivate myself with eating healthy and like just drinking water and all that kind of stuff. 
So it's been hard, but I'm still doing it no matter what. I'm not giving up. What I've been also working on is trying to make myself healthier in every way possible. I'm trying to mentally help myself by like giving myself positive and just like trying to eat healthy for my physical, of course. And that does help my hair. Like my hair never looked better since I've been working on myself. And so does my whole body. Like I look so much more fit, healthy, and just like I feel really good overall. And I've been working really hard on that. I know I'm not perfect, but I'm working. That's the most important part is trying to help yourself. It doesn't matter. Don't be perfect. Don't be like, don't look too perfect. Just be yourself and be the best, the best version. It's two weeks actually. It's been really hard with my leg because I've been feeling unmotivated because I'm so worried. Like, what can I do? And I've been really like sad and depressed actually, but. I'm working now and I'm telling myself I'm going to be able to get out of this soon so I need to relax right now which has been really hard for me because I'm a very like busy person and I don't like to just like sit down but then again I'm not really supposed to so I'm trying my best to motivate myself I'm watching like tv and like that kind of stuff but I'm still working on myself by taking care of my skin I'm eating really healthy and that's pretty much all I can do what I'm learning right now actually from my injury is when I had it I was the most unmotivated I can be right when it happened, the incident. So I fell and I thought, oh my God, how am I gonna get up? How am I gonna survive this? How am I gonna be okay? And what I did is I told myself, I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna survive this. I'm gonna be fine. And it was really hard because after I injured myself, I had to walk a quarter of a mile with my broken foot, which I didn't even know happened at that point. I also cut up my hands and like everything, and it was really hard for me. So my most important lesson that I can teach you guys is never give up on yourself. No matter how hard it is, no matter what happens, don't do it. Don't give up because you don't want to be the reason that you aren't the best you. You want to be strong. Just do it. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes you're not okay, but you have to think about the happy moments and what made you happy. And think about when you're weak and how strong you've become. Don't think of anything that makes you sad, which is, again, very hard, I, I know. But just try your best. All you can do is be the best. And that's what I wanted to tell you guys. So, I don't know what you guys have been through, but I'm trying to help you guys understand what I've been through and see if I can help you. So I'm so much stronger, like I've said, and I've been really working on myself. So that's one of the hardest things because I keep going back. I keep trying to go back to when I was weak and I'm trying not to. It's really hard though. And I'm trying to be happier. So right now I'm trying to be happy today has been okay. I've been a little bit happier than I have, but I'm just trying to remember and I'm going to help you guys too. Just try to think of the good moments and that they're coming. And that don't think about the negatives. Don't think about things that make you sad, which again is very difficult. Just think about positive and like the good thoughts and just everything that's going to help you. Do not think negative and that kind of stuff. So not many people really know the real me. So it's because I hide myself and I'm really nervous. But I'm trying to help you guys get to know me. I am a kind of person who has learned a lot and I know a lot and I want to help you guys in any way that I can because I know what it's like to be alone and I don't want you guys to be alone. I want to be there for you. So that's why I'm trying to make these videos to help you guys. So if there's any kind of things you want to see, please let me know. You can DM me on Instagram and just let me know or in the comments. I don't, I just want to help you guys and I in any way that I can. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Say it's true, don't know where I got them. I guess that's why they call them trust issues.